All right, so I am in Photopea. I'm gonna delete this for now. Okay, and this is my document, and we'll just pretend that I've got some text going on here, so, you know. Put some text in there just so I have done it. Yay. Increasing the size, changing the font to something I just love, changing the color. Okay, so I got some text. Okay, I did step one, and it should say my name. Um, <clears throat> now we want to add a picture. So when we look up pictures, we can go to Google, um, Google, and we can click on, I don't want, normally you're on all, right? And you can see all the stuff that comes up. Let's specifically click on images. And just so you know, you can click on uh, tools here. And then you can also check out things that are only like legal. <laughs> Because, you know, you can't just steal people's stuff, right, all the time. Some of this stuff is copyright protected. And if you were making um, some kind of an advertisement that you were getting paid for, right, if there's any kind of money involved in the project that you're doing, you better be using images that have a Creative Commons uh, license that's actually, like, um, shareable, okay? So we could say all. We could say whichever our situation is. For us, we'll just say all because it really doesn't matter since we're doing this for education, okay? We're doing things for education. We don't really have to worry too much about copyright. Um, and uh, I could look at my size too, okay? If I only want large files, I could choose large or medium. For this project, I'm not too worried about the size, but if I were making a really big poster, I would definitely want to get large files only, okay? Uh, all right, so anyway, uh, presenting cartoon. I wanted a picture of a cartoon of a person doing something like this, like pointing at my words or like this, okay? so. I'm going to click on it, this one, I haven't tried this one, um, and then I'm going to, I think I'm just going to go back to the preview and grab the preview. I'm going to right click on this and save image as, I'm going to make sure it goes to my desktop, just going to rename it for myself so I know what it is, but look at the format, okay? I don't really want this. What's a nice image file type to work with? This Google WebP, that's not a good image file. Anybody have an idea? What's a good image file, image type? Yes. JPEG. JPEG is great. What's another one? Anyone know another image type, image file type? A PNG. PNG is a nice one. Okay. Those are a GIF, GIF, right? Those all work. You've heard of them before, right? Yeah? Okay. Those are good. So pay attention to your files. I'm not going to use this picture because I don't want that. That's going to be difficult for me to work with and I want to keep my life nice and easy here. So I'll click on this one and right click, save image as. Oh, it's a JPEG. I like that. Okay. See, look at the where. It's going to my desktop and I'll save that. I'll use that. Okay. So then I go back to my Photopea file. And if yours, I think you guys, your saves down at the bottom of your browser too. Yeah, so if, uh, if it's there, that's nice and convenient. You can just drag it in, boop, okay? Now, um, I wanna get rid of the background, okay? So I'll just show you here. I'm gonna give myself a background just so that you can really see what I mean here. So we can really see well. Okay, so you know, I have a situation like this where I don't want that background that came with the image. You understand? I don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to um, get rid of it. First thing I need to do though is look at this little icon. See that little icon on the girl layer? That means it's not editable. If I try and edit it, it's gonna say you can't. So I need to rasterize it. Rasterizing it turns it into pixels that are editable. Anybody know what a pixel is? What do you think, yeah? There are a pixel is a really small square. And there are a bunch of small squares on your computer, each with a different colored light, which makes up pictures. Super! That was really, really a great definition, yeah. So they're all little squares or dots of colored light, and they make up the picture. And uh, Photopea works, uh, it's a raster program, kind of like Photoshop. So we need to turn it into pixels to edit it. So I go, while that layer is selected, see I could select different layers, while girl 2 is selected, I'm going up to layer and I'm going to choose rasterize. Got it, people? Okay, now I can edit it. So I'm going to go up here to my magic wand tool and I'm going to click in the white and it chooses, anywhere I click, it chooses all of the pixels surrounding that spot that I clicked on that are the same. So since that whole background is white, if I just click on the background once with my magic wand tool, it selects all of the white pixels. And now I can just go on my keyboard and hit delete. 
and now it's gone. Okay, does anybody know how to deselect? See all those little blinking lines there? How do I deselect? Does anyone know on the keyboard, the key command? I don't know. I, I, don't, I haven't really told you this. I just wondered if anyone knows. Yeah? Escape. Good guess. No, no, no. It's um, control D on your computers. Okay. So I just, just did that. Control D and now it's deselected. I can go up here to my move tool. There's my move tool. And my transform controls are selected. So I can, these are my transform controls. See these little squares? If I have that checkbox and I have my move tool selected, I can shrink her, I can move her around. If I hold shift while I shrink her, it maintains the proportions. I'm holding shift right now. If I let go of shift, I could really mess her up. <laughs> I mess up her proportions. But if I hold shift, uh, it keeps her nice. Okay, so that's good. I hit enter on my computer when I get it how I like it. Kind of want to move my text over here now. So I click on that layer and I move it over. Ta-da! Lovely name tag. Okay, I put a background in with my paint bucket, which is under my gradient tool. If you're looking for your paint bucket, it's under my gradient tool. Okay, and I chose a color. And it has on the background layer, that's where I did it, because I want it to be all the way in the back. Everyone following me? I'm going over a zillion things right here. Okay, my background was locked. You may have noticed there was a lock here. So when you find that you can't do anything on your background layer, it's because it's locked. So just click on the lock and the lock goes away. All right. 